Hello guys, um, this is Chris Becker, um, as you may well know. Uh, I'm going to try to go ahead and get you started on how to make a blog spot. Um, this is one of the options I know Dr. Chu had mentioned. Weebly, I like Blogspot. It's a little bit simpler to use. I've used Weebly a bunch and it's a little more simple. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in to my UNCG account because I do not have a blog spot that is run by my UNCG account. And when you sign in to your UNCG account, um, it'll show up with this, uh, this screen. And it's pretty simple from here. Um, you can do a create a new blog. And you can come up with a title, something like, I, uh, let's just say, test blog for LIS 600. Okay, and then we'll come up with a blog spot title. Um, this will be your URL that you turn into Dr. Chu. So let's just call this test blog LIS 600. All right. Okay, two, I meant to say that if the screen changes on you, don't freak out. It's me using the screencast. So then all you need to do is come down here to create a blog. I, you can use different templates. I always like the simple one um, because it's simple and it's easy. And again, I'm an idiot that only uses the very most basic things to their fullest extent. So anyway, all you do is just hit create a blog. And it will create and it will create. All right. So then it magically appears, all right, your test blog. And I've got my screen shrunk down just a little bit too, so you can um, do that. But it's pretty simple from here. You just, you can go to start posting, and it will pop up. And so it's pretty basic from here. You've got a title, a post title here. Let's just call this test. If I could type, I would be dangerous. Test blog. LIS 600. Why wow, break what's working? And then you can just type in your words here. Test blog. Again, if I could type, I would be dangerous. I could be president. Maybe not. All right. Um, test blog LIS 600. All right. Now I'm going to show you some features here, so don't go away. I'm going to pause the video and come back. Okay, cool. I hope you're back. Uh, there's a couple different things over here that you don't really have to use, but I'm going to show them to you anyway because they're fun and it will make your um, blog a little bit ex more accessible for people who are coming in from out of the cold, out of the blue. These are some tricks of the trade that I used um, or use um, on different things to get yourself noticed. You've got labels over here. That could be things that this would be like your access points for from uh, cataloging classes if you've taken those. But those will be your ass, excuse me, access points. Um, so let's just go ahead and keep with the theme here and go test blog LIS 600. And if somebody was to be searching for your website or searching for information on a test blog from LIS 600 and they type that into Google, uh, that's going to uh, help you find, or that'll actually help them find that um, and do different things like that. Plus, it also would mean it's easable, easily searchable when you go to make your, or when you're on your front page. If I could speak, I'd be dangerous too. So let's go to done. Scheduling, I just usually make that automatic. If you're working on something that's kind of time sensitive or um, if you're trying to find um, uh, you're trying to get your site seen more, they say Thursday mornings about nine o'clock, but that's kind of that's if you're trying to promote yourself. But so just go ahead and use that as automatic. Uh, permalink, if you want to add that, is I don't even really mess with that, so you we really shouldn't have to worry about that. Location, that'll just be where you're from, and then options, you have a couple of different things, but those are again uh, fancy frou frou stuff that you don't really have to worry about. Okay, let me show you some other features that we've got here that are pretty cool. Uh, a compose, if you're trying to 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 uh, put in a an embed a video from. Um, um, YouTube, you can hit compose and it'll pop up. It won't show up because I haven't done any spacing, but you hit compose and then uh, right would copy and paste your embed there uh, from a YouTube video. Uh, but we can go over that another time. Uh, no, excuse me, HTML. HTML will actually do that. Then you would copy and paste your uh, embed in there, not compose. I'm sorry, I misspoke. HTML. All right. 
then we'll go back to compose you've got different things across you've got your standard issue uh, stuff across the top here a link if you want to add a link if you want to add a link um, that would be cool too you, you the text to display will be actually what the link says so that you don't have the big awkward HTML things so then let's just say test link and then you would put in your URL from that link so uh, let's just go this is made up it won't go anywhere but www.testlink.com and then you would I always make my stuff open up in a new window just because you don't want to get have to go back and forth on the block uh, the, the back and forth so I hit OK for that and hit there and then it shows up let me move the screen here so you see the link there it says test link is what you called it and it would go to testlink.com if there was something really there I want to move the screen real quick okay next comes the moment you've been waiting for you've written your wonderful reflection essay and you are going to go to publish and publish is where you're going to publish this okay it's the pesky pesky little share link thing I'm not going to share because that's silly this is a test okay you're gonna see a couple different things over here on your left this is the left side of the screen you've got your view blog we're gonna go there for a second but I'm gonna move the screen and I'm gonna show you some design techniques down here and get into the widgets that um, um, somebody was asking for I can't remember now I'm drawing a blank it was Miss Eller that was looking for the widgets I'm sorry alright so you can come down here to the uh, layout come down to the layout section and click on that okay and then basically this is a pretty simple uh, like I said this is why I use blogger and blogspot It's pretty simple um, to add a widget basically all you do is come over here to gadget now they call them gadget uh, gadgets here but it's a tomato tomato kind of thing so click on add a gadget okay so it comes up with a bunch of different gadgets over here that you can add or widgets or whatever else you want to call them uh, dr. Chu calls them widgets I call them gadgets again it's a potato potato kind of thing um, and again uh, these are just little toys little tool thingies that you can use um, I let's go ahead because we talked about diversity tonight let's go ahead and add a translate to our blog so again we've gone to add a gadget and then this little dialog box pops up and we'll go to translate and it pops up and it says configure translate alright and it, you can call it translate you can call it converter thingy you can call it whatever you want I would stick with translate though um, style vertical horizontal drop down um, let's just leave with vertical and then a, here is the preview this is what it will look like on your gadget or on your page on your front page is this right here the select a language and then you basically hit save okay so uh, as you added your gadget or your widget or whatever you want to call it again I just like calling them gadget widgets whatever uh, it popped up down here on the translate and about me section and the archive section so I think she said you wanted to add at least one gadget or widget or whatever you want to call them and so we did we've added our one gadget we've added our one widget basically again just as a review you've gone to add a gadget and then it'll pop up and there's all kinds of nifty little things the translate thing is pretty cool because it's divert uh, since we talked about diversity tonight you can add them too with your layout with a simple layout you can add them all over the place you don't want to put too many because it gets a little clustery and a little crowded um, but this is going to be how your blog is going to look now we're going to come up to the save arrangement spot there I stopped mid sentence that was pretty nifty for screen uh screen matic but you go to save arrangement and then we'll go to view blog well, they went away we're going to go to view blog here and just so then we're going to view our blog and take a look at it and see how things look okay so we see our little test blog site our little test blog post with our test link you've got the nifty difty toolbar down here that uh, blogspot adds for you so if you wanted to email this to your buddies and say look mom I made a blog she might ask you what a blog is like my mom did uh, if you want to blog about your blog you can do that if you want to share it to Twitter Facebook uh, Pinterest I'm not all that familiar with Pinterest but anyway or you can do the Google Plus um, my boss loves that when he sends me stuff all the time on that let's take a look at the, some other features 
Okay, so we're over here in the gadget widget department. We've got some nifty difty gadgets and widgets. We have our blog archive, which is a standard issue widget. We have the about me with my ugly mug right there. Um, that's a face only a mother could love. And then our widget that we added, gadget widget uh, that we added, our translate. Okay, so we have added a translate, and that is a gadget widget. It's gadget here. Uh, we've added our gadget and our widget, which I think is going to, to meet the requirement of Dr. Chews. Now let's add some color. Let's kick up a notch. Let's spice things up just a little bit here. Okay, we're going to go to design. And again, from design, which was up in the upper right-hand corner, we're going to go to layout, which is down here in our little toolbar. Tool, yeah, toolbar. So I fell into my own uh, pitfall there. I always do this wrong. You actually need to go to template. And this is the screen that will pop up. Not layout to change our color, but template. Template to change the color. And let's go to some customizing. OK, um, just a little bit of a word of advice. If you set your template and set your template colors, leave it there. Because I, this summer, uh, decided to change the template on, or the template colors on my stuff. And it changed on the front page, but everything else on the back end of the back page did not change. And so it's a little bit tricky. Get your template, get it set, get it the way you want it. And you can do that over here with your background. And you can use uh, default colors. We can use, um, we actually can go to advanced. That's where you change your colors is advanced. Again, guys, I use this and I still get hung up. So you can't mess this up. So you got your advanced stuff. And then you can go down here to your backgrounds and make all kinds of different colors. There's actually a header background off to the right you'll see, uh, but I can't change the screen. Or I don't want to change the screen right now because it'll mess up everything else. But you've got a header background on the right. You've got your outer background. Uh, let's change this to the blue. I always go with the Carolina blue for no particular reason. Uh, you want to probably leave your background, your main background white unless you want to change your font colors, which eh, that's here or there. Uh, it's not all that big of a deal, but you can go around and change things and get it to look in the way you want it to look. It's not a big deal. Um, again, I like to leave things kind of simple uh, because I get too distracted on websites. Maybe it's my ADD. Maybe it's not. Um, but anyway, let me switch screens. I'm going to show you one more. Okay. Once you've got your color set. Oh, hey. There's the header background that I told you about. I didn't lie to you. The header background is over here. That was what I said was on the right. Basically, all you got to do is apply to blog. And all those nifty difty changes will go into effect that you've made. All right, I'm going to switch and show you a couple of things, or I may just upload the video and then make two videos. But anyway, I didn't really plan this out. I just thought I'd throw this out for you guys um, and do this while I'm thinking about it. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and show you. So here's the deal. I went ahead and hit viewed blog. Uh, one little nifty difty little thing here that you can do for a new post would be to click on the new post. It's pretty nifty. It's pretty simple. I like to use Blogspot for this reason because I can be working on dozens of different pages all at once and go from there. Uh, I tell you what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch over to another blog and uh, show you a couple different things that, that um, would help you with that or or actually maybe stick with this one and show you one more uh, nifty difty trick okay I've been looking at my time meter down here and I don't have enough time to show you this but I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video and then I will send you part two here in about five seconds so you'll see me again in part two coming up in three two one